I don't know whether to wear these. I think they're a little bit too tall for my camera or for the shot. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Should I wear them? Shall I wear them? Or should I just take them off my head? Okay, now I just feel bare without them. I don't know. I don't know. Hey guys, and it's five days till Christmas. Can you believe it? Mostly, I'm excited about seeing everyone's faces when they open my presents or other people's presents. I just love, I just love giving. Today, I am doing a Christmas tag. I don't think we've done one of these before, so I am gonna have a go at it. There is a Christmas Q&A coming up later this week. I don't know what the questions are because they'll just be like on the night. So if any of these answer the same questions, then tough. So the first question is, what is your favourite Christmas film? My favourite Christmas film is gonna have to be the Home Alone duo. Just the first two films. I love the third one, but I absolutely love the first two. Me, my brother and my sister have watched them ever since we were little. We've watched them every year, I pretty much think without fail, and they just they just get me in the mood for Christmas. They're so hilariously funny. I absolutely love them to bits. They're just a really nice family movie and to just I don't know, just to watch it every year and quote it and just get really excited for Christmas and get really in the mood, Home Alone is the perfect duo. Question two. Have you ever had a white Christmas? That is a very good question. I think I have, but when I was very, very little. If not, it was like Christmas Eve or it was Boxing Day. Question three, where do you usually spend your holiday? We normally spend our Christmas day at home with my mum, my dad, my sister, my brother, and my grand. My grand comes over for three days. It's normally Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day. Boxing Day we have the all my extended family round and we just have a big mingle. What is your favourite Christmas song? There's a great big smile on somebody's face. I love that song. So yeah, I think it would have to be I Wish It Would Be Christmas Every Day by Wizard. Absolutely love that song. And then I love Slade's It's Christmas song. And then I love Wham with their Last Christmas. Last Christmas, but someone ruined. Someone ruined that for me. And uh, Misha Page and Scarlett will know exactly who that was. Question five, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? No, we do not open any Christmas presents on Christmas Eve because one, we don't have our Christmas presents under the Christmas tree, so we therefore don't see any. There's none there, we don't know where they are, Santa's got them in his sleigh as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, we don't have any presents under the tree, because our tree is quite small anyway. And normally we have so many presents that they wouldn't go under the tree because they'd be crushed or get broken or smashed and it and I like it that way because I like waking up on Christmas morning and just seeing all the presents in sacks and we have like our own sack each I just I, I personally like that I love it can you name all of Santa's reindeer okay Dancer Prancer Donna Dasha Vixen Carmen Cupid Blitzen Rudolph oh my gosh I am so happy I remembered those because seriously I ha there was one year where I didn't remember them and um, there was a Q&A and I knew them, I knew them and I got like one wrong. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so glad I still remember that. Seriously, that's made me ecstatic because I didn't think I would remember that. What holiday traditions are you looking forward to the most this year? So we have several holiday traditions. Me and my family have kept these traditions ever since we were little kids, pretty much. So Christmas Eve, doesn't matter what we're doing that day, apart from the evening, which we will get round together as a family before we go to bed and read three stories. The first one is the classic nativity story and the other one is the Santa, I think it's just called Santa or 
It's Christmas. I don't know what the book's called, but it's a, it's a Santa story where he goes and delivers presents to everybody. And at the end of the book, it says, who delivers presents to Santa? Yeah. And I just thought it was really, I just, I love that book because every year I'm just like, Mrs. Claus? Or what about all those presents that the kids left out? You know, the, the milk, the carrots and the mince pies and the, you know, soya milk. And the final one is the Polar Express. We have the book, it's so battered, it's so old, but it's such a good book. The film ruined it for me. Not everything in the film is in the book because the book is just a tiny, short kid's story, whereas the movie's like, like an hour and something long and they just added bits in. It's just so, oh, it's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful story and the artwork in the book is just exquisite. It's just beautiful. I love it. That's a tradition. Christmas day, we get up around 6, 30, 7 a.m. in the morning and we come downstairs, all of our sacks are in our seats on in the living room. So it kind of goes my sister, um, my brother, then me. And then it goes my mum and my gran on the other sofa and then my dad's on the floor with his sack. So we all have a sack each. They're around about three foot, the sacks. They don't, they're not always full to the brim. They're just kind of like halfway or maybe even three quarters full. And then we have like a family sack or like a sack where it's a joint present. So Katie and Claire or Katie and Chris or dad and mum, you know, they're joint presents. They're not to one person, they're for the both of us and we go around in a circle one by one opening a present and we normally start with Claire the youngest but since she's not here it's me I'm the next youngest so we're we'll starting with me and then finishing with my gran and we just keep going around until everyone's opened their presents so yeah I, I just I love that then my mum goes off and starts cooking for our Christmas dinner we have Christmas dinner at lunchtime but this year because it's a Sunday we normally go to church on a Sunday so there'll be a church service around from 10 till 12. I'm just telling you what's happening on Christmas Day now. But that is our Christmas Eve to Christmas Day traditions and I love it and I think I will, when I have my own kids and my own family, I think I will kind of do the same thing if my husband doesn't mind. <laughs> Be honest, do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts? I think I covered this. I love giving gifts, I really do. I do, don't get me wrong, I do get excited for Christmas to see what I've got, but when Christmas day comes, I am so, I'm sitting there so excited to see everyone's faces when they open their presents because I really do put my heart and soul and thought into these presents and they're either gonna cry or they're gonna smile or they're just gonna jump off and be so excited. I love it and my sister did that to me in return for doing it to her for so long and she got me the one thing that I remember crying over was so beautiful and emotional um, was the snowflake, Anna's snowflake necklace from Once Upon a Time and she wrapped it and she put on it, opened me last. I had no idea what it was and when I got to the bottom it was just this little thing and it said, you know, open me last and then it had like a little quote on it and a beautiful letter and it just, I was just like, this is the perfect momentum for when you go away. I will wear this and think of you and yeah um, I just uh, that that was just really nice of her to think of that I would not I would not have even thought of that necklace I love it in the Once Upon a Time TV series and when she found that they do the actual thing I was like man you're a genius what would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season I've said this before, not on a video though, <laughs> but I, I, spe I was speaking to, I was speaking to my best friend Katie about this the other day, like where would you want to go for Christmas? We wouldn't want to go somewhere where it's hot because I love having Christmas in the cold temperatures, so it feels like Christmas. So I would love, absolutely love to go to Disneyland in the, in the, win like in the winter in, for Christmas, just to be on there in, on Christmas day with all my presents and being in a Minnie and Mickey hotel or you know a Disney inspired hotel and seeing the castle just far off in the distance and the park and just being able to enjoy myself as and get excited the fact that I'm in Disneyland and opening presents on Christmas day would be a dream come true so yeah Disneyland I, Paris let's just say because it's the closest and most likely it will be cold are you a pro present wrapper 
or do you fail miserably? Now, let's just say I wrap everybody's presents pretty much in this house. For other people, not obviously, not the presents they're gonna give to me, but for other people, I wrap their presents for other people. And half the time, I wrap them so good people can't get in them. <laughs> like, they're pristine perfect. The tape is on without a crease and the, the paper doesn't rip either. If you want to call that pro or you want to call that kind of like evil at the same time, but I don't know. What made you realize the truth about Santa? I don't remember myself personally ever coming to terms with the fact that Santa wasn't real. You still don't remember it? I remember when the tooth fairy wasn't real, like, and that kind of was like, really? And that's, I think that's probably when I decided that Santa wasn't real. But no, I don't think, I don't remember. I remember my sister going on for years saying, is he real? Is he not real? Is he real? Tell me, is he real? Is he real? Is he not real? As far as I'm concerned, it's real. It's real, guys. Kids, it's real. Be good. Do you make New Year's resolutions? Do you stick to them? I do make New Year's resolutions and most of the time I complete them within the first three months. That is not a lie. But yeah, I do try and complete my New Year's resolutions and I normally only make three. By halfway of the year I don't really make any new ones, I just kind of set goals for myself each day. So yeah, I do try and keep to them. And that is that, I think. That is the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I love you guys and I really do appreciate all your time that you take to watch our videos and comment, of course. And I would love to know what your traditions are at Christmas. So what do you love to do at Christmas? How do you get into that Christmas spirit mood? And yeah, I'd love to know that all in the comment section below and I'll see you soon. Bye. Merry Christmas, everybody. I really, I'm wearing these in, um, these are actually my sister's, so this is like her part in this video. Just, like, embracing the reindeer Claire in me. Yes. Yes, Kate. Mm -hmm. I have no sore throat, thankfully. Well, it feels like I have no sore throat. Don't want it to come back. What is that on my face? Oh my gosh, how long has that been on my face? This mark here. How long has that been on my face? That, oh no, 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 no. Five days till Christmas. Five days till, this is my dance. This is my make a noise, make a dance for Christmas. It's Christmas. It's so good. Oh. Chill, Kate. Chill. I wish it could be Christmas every day. Do -do -do -do. When the kids start singing and the bells begin to play.